All right, welcome back to another video. In this video, what we're gonna do is write our first PHP script, okay? So you're gonna see PHP in action, and then we're gonna continue on, and we're just gonna move at lightning speed because you're gonna realize really quickly that this isn't that hard, okay? So um, don't make it harder than it is, just stay with me, don't try to get ahead of me, and um, don't worry too much if you fall behind, just go back and watch the videos again. Uh, if, you, if you're quite not quite sure why you would use something, don't worry about that for now, let's just focus on on present moment where we're at now and if you can kind of keep up then you're doing well okay because we're going to use uh, so much of this in example projects that we're going to build uh, throughout this course that I'm not too concerned about you memorizing stuff just know how things work okay and know uh, about what they do okay uh, so here's what we're going to do I'm going to switch over to my screen here all right and then what I'm going to do is open up your terminal let me clear this out. So open up your terminal, and first thing we wanna do is we wanna fire up uh, exam. So for us, it's sudo forward slash op, forward slash lamp, exam, and start. All right, and uh, you'll probably have to put in your, your password and then hit enter. I've just most recently done that, so uh, my computer doesn't ask me for my password unless it's over um, maybe you know five minutes or something like that. All right, once you have your server running, what I'd like for you to do is go ahead now and change directory. So type CD and let's go to opt lamp and then go to your htdocs directory. And now we're in here. What I want to do is create a new directory for us to work in this uh, PHP course in, okay? So to make a directory, we're just going to type mkdir php. Just, let's just call it php. Then if you ls, you should, you should see a directory uh, called PHP. So let's go ahead and go into that. All right, and now if I ls, there's nothing in that. Okay, so I'm going to clear this out again. So now that I'm in my directory called PHP, what I'd like to do is create a, um, let's just go ahead and create a PHP file here. And to do that, we're going to type the word touch index.php. Now, if I hit ls, we have an index.php file in here. Now notice this is real similar to our index.html. Uh, this is going to be the what most servers look for for the first file to run. But instead of it being .html, the server is going to know to look inside of this file and say, hey, is there any PHP code inside of this file that I need to run? And if it's .php, it will assume that this is a PHP file and it will run this file. Apache will grab this and look for any PHP code inside of it and go ahead and run that code. Okay, so if you have this set up, you're good to go. Let's go ahead and open our code editor now. So I'm just going to use this VS Codium. You can use Atom or whatever here. And I'm going to open a folder and I'm going to navigate on my computer here to my htdocs. So for me, this was um, in my hard drive in the root directory and then I go to opt lamp and then we'll go to htdocs and then we created that folder called php so I'm just going to open that folder here and I'll close this welcome screen down and now in my explorer here I have a php directory and then I have the index.php let's go ahead and open that up and you'll see that the index.php is a empty file here all right, so let's go ahead now and let's uh, visit this file and just see what happens. So if I go and open a new tab in my browser, we're gonna type in localhost, and then to get to our file, what we're gonna do is type in uh, forward slash PHP, and then we can either just do forward slash index.php to visit it, or we can leave the index.php off and it will assume that. And here we go, we have an empty page here, now, I want to show you something a little bit interesting. Since we did mess with HTML before, I want to show you uh, that you can set up. Uh, we're going to set up. Oops. We're going to set up our um, HTML file here. And I'm just going to do an H2 here and say, Welcome to PHP. Okay. And then we're going to go back here and refresh. And you can see that the file, even though this was a .php file, this is actually running on our virtual server on our local machine. 
Uh, and it's being served up by a, a server called Apache, some software on the server called Apache. And it's it looks through the file for any PHP. Now, right now we don't have any PHP, we have HTML. But it will return any HTML that's on our page uh, to the client's browser, which is what we're viewing right now. So HTML totally works with this. So I just wanted to show you that because that's really important when we start building our website that we can have HTML and PHP in our page and it will run through and, and it will actually render all of our PHP first or run all of our PHP code. And once it's done with that, whatever's left, uh, it will send back to the client. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that though. And what we're gonna do is learn the basic structure of PHP. So in HTML, you remember we had opening uh, and closing tags that we put all the HTML in between. Now PHP is uh, very similar to that, um, but we have to learn a little bit of a different syntax. So we're gonna use a less than sign and then a dollar sign, and then we're just gonna type the word PHP. And then I'm gonna skip down a couple lines here. I'm gonna do a, uh, a question mark and then a uh, greater than sign and anything so this is your opening PHP tag the less than question mark PHP this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag so anything that's in between these two tags is interpreted as PHP so I want to show you just really quick just a, you know the stereotypical uh, getting started script that everyone writes is they type in echo space and then I'm gonna put some double quotes and just put hello world just because this is kind of a rite of passage you have to write your first script as hello world okay so we're just gonna do that we're gonna follow tradition here and type out our first hello world script now if I go back to my uh, browser and refresh you can see that now we are printing to the screen hello world and this is coming from our PHP file. Now notice that we don't have any HTML. This echo statement right here is a function that's built into PHP. And this echo statement prints something to the screen. Um, and so since we used quotes here, uh, it will print a string to the screen. Um, a string is a, is a string of characters, okay? And this could be numbers or or uh, you know letters of the alphabet or whatever but this is a string think of a phrase or something and it will print that directly to the screen now uh, we could we could actually do a space and we could type uh, PHP rules okay and we could go back and refresh and now it says hello world PHP rules um, but let me show you something a little bit interesting here with this, with this, and um, and let me just check something real quick at my syllabus. I don't want to get too far ahead of my plan here. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll continue to talk about this. Um, so this echo statement is how we print something to the screen. But I want to show you something a little more interesting. What if I put another echo right here, and we'll just do PHP rules here. Now you may notice something. Um, this has a, a structure to it where we're saying, hey, echo something. We're telling it what we want to echo inside of these quotes. And then we, we're ending this line with a semicolon. That's very important. You need this semicolon. Or if I actually leave that off and save this and go back, we're going to get an error to our screen right here. And it says there's a parse error, a syntax error, unexpected token echo expecting a comma or a semicolon and it tells us what line. So this says on line three. So you're gonna get used to seeing these cryptic looking uh, error messages and the sooner you learn how to read these and find your mistakes, the better off you're gonna be. Um, and so uh, let's go back now and look at this and it says that the error was happening on line three and it says unexpected word echo. Well, that's because we didn't end our previous line so it's still expecting more to happen on line two and then all of a sudden we're just going to line three so to end each line of code in PHP or each not necessarily line uh, as in like line on your editor but each uh, command that we're giving the server 
we want to end it with a colon or semicolon rather. And when we do this, it says, hey, run this, then run this, and then continue down the script until there's nothing else or until you hit these closing PHP tags. So we can put as many of these echo statements as we want and print as much as we want to the screen. Uh, but we, we need to make sure each statement ends with this semicolon. This will what tells it that's the end of that statement. Okay, so if I refresh now, our syntax error is going to go away. But you'll notice that we have hello world and PHP rules, and these are all just kind of crammed together. And if we look back at our code, we're like, well, wait a minute, this is on a new line. Well, it's important that we don't, we don't have anything in our code to tell us to go down to the next line. And this brings me to my next interesting point, because what we could do is we can actually echo out HTML right here in our file. So we could echo out an HTML tag right in between these two. And what happens is that gets interpreted as HTML now, that the BR tag, the break tag, and now we, these are on separate terms. So it's not so much that I want to show you that this isn't the best way to do this, but this, this is a legitimate way. But I wanted to show you that you can actually print HTML with PHP, which, which is one of the things that makes PHP so powerful because now I can build uh, dynamic websites. I can make uh, HTML appear or not appear using uh, a programming language and that gives me tons of flexibility and we'll see all kinds of examples on this. And again, don't worry too much right now if you're a little bit lost or I mean, you know what, I'm gonna make my font size just a little bit bigger here. And let's just kind of close this down and give us a little more room. So hopefully you can read this. But again, all I want you to know for right now is how to open your PHP tags. Okay. And then we're going to, and just know this one simple uh, command here. This is the echo statement. And this is how we print. Well, this is one way that we can print something to a screen. So you just type echo. This is the PHP uh, command that we're using here. And then we give it this parameter, this 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 uh, double quote or single quote. This tells it what do you want to print to the screen. So you're giving it a function name, echo. So print something to the screen. And then when you're done telling it that statement, go ahead and give it a semicolon. And this code is interpreted top down. So it reads the first line of code. It does all of that. Then it reads this next line of code and it does whatever you tell it to do. And then it reads the next one. It does exactly what you tell it to do from the top down, left to right, top down. And then it gets to the closing tag. And this, this is wrapped up. Apache's like, okay, there's nothing else to do here. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Go ahead and practice this. And um, you should be visiting it by going to localhost forward slash PHP. And uh, just for good measure, let's go ahead and type in index.php here and see that it's the same exact thing. Uh, but we're we're referencing an exact file now, uh, but it will uh, assume that it's index.php that it's looking for. If I had named that file something else, that wouldn't have worked. I would have to tell it what file we wanted to go to. But in this case, uh, go ahead and just get used to putting this index.php. So again, localhost is how we access our virtual server that's on our computer that we're running. That you know the exam software. We access that on our browser by just typing in localhost. And then inside that, inside of our htdocs, we created a, uh, a directory called PHP. And then inside of that, we created a file called index.php. So that is how we are visiting that page on our browser. But remember, this is actually emulating uh, our example uh, install is emulating this being on a live server. It's just that it's on our local machine. So that's really important for you to understand that this, this is separate. This doesn't usually live on a client's computer. This is usually on a server and the server interprets this. Okay. But we're just kind of, uh, mocking that or mimicking that with a virtual server called exam. All right, so I think that's enough for this video. Uh, in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start talking about different data types that we can use um, within PHP. So uh, this was just Echo, practice that. 
Congratulations, you've written your first PHP script. Uh, you are you now know your first bit of a programming language and now you are a programmer. You're not just writing markup anymore. We're not just doing HTML and CSS. We are actually diving into a programming language and I'm proud of you guys for sticking in it this long and uh, just keep going, don't ever give up. Remember, this isn't hard, well, it's a little hard, this isn't that hard. It's just really big and it's going to take a lot of devotion and dedication on your part. And remember our mindset video when we talked about belief. You have to believe that you can learn this. And so far what we've done really isn't that complicated, guys. You can just um, keep, if you keep working with it, I promise you, you're going to get it. And if you just stay tuned and follow along with me, even if it doesn't quite make sense yet, I promise by the end of it, we're going to bring it all together with these projects and we're going to see so much repetition that you're going to get it. So I'm proud of you guys. Stay with it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.